Mubarak here of M Penny Stock. In this lesson, I want to tell you guys about one of the most important metrics that you need to keep an eye out for when you're trading penny stocks. All right, there's a lot of horror stories with people who get this wrong. So I want to make sure that you guys, whether you've been trading for a while or whether you're just about to make your first trade, you need to have this on your radar to make sure that you don't get caught in this trap. All right. And characteristic or the factor that I'm talking about is volume. All right. Volume is a super, super important metric for when you're looking to trade penny stocks or any stocks in that matter, because it determines whether or not, as well as how fast you'll be able to get in and out of your positions. Okay. So what that means is, you know, for those who haven't traded, it's important to understand that when you buy a certain stock, you have to put it in order request, right? So you put in either a market order or a limit order, and we go into specifics about that in penny stock, but you put it in a certain order, and now what needs to happen is you have to wait for your order to be fulfilled. So what that means is if tomorrow I want to buy 100 shares of Apple, right? It's not like I pu push a button and I get all the shares. It's not that easy. It's almost that easy, but you still have to wait for a seller to come into the market and sell you those 100 shares. And what will happen at times, depending on how large of the order sizes that you put into, you know, say, you know, Apple's too high priced, but say you were just talking about a penny stock, say it was valued at 10 cents, if you, or yeah, 10 cents here. If you're actually trying to buy, you know, 100,000 or 10,000 of these stocks, whatever, a large volume, there's a chance that you're only going to get half of your order or a quarter or a portion of your order. And there's also a very good chance that you don't get your order filled at all, depending on the type of order you input. So in that scenario, right, whether or not you'll be getting your order filled all has to do with volume, because this is the amount of shares that are being traded of that specific stock on a daily basis, both buys and sells. All right. So, a lot of the times what ends up happening, unfortunately, for new traders is that they'll watch our videos, start learning, start doing some research, find some random stocks, and they'll look at the price chart, look at the action, try to make a conclusive decision about it, but they forget to look at this important factor. And what will happen is there's a lot of different penny stocks that have like large spreads, right? And the spread is the difference between the price that, that you can buy it at and the price you can sell it at. So usually that's just one penny, right? Or if, if that even, you know, usually if it's a $5 I can, uh, at a buy, I can only sell at $4.99. And the market is happening at that segmentation of that one penny. But sometimes, especially for stocks that don't have volume, you'll find larger spreads because not enough people are putting in orders, which means that there's not enough supply of that stock. So let me paint you a scenario where that gets really, really difficult. Right. Say you're trading a stock and it's trading at about one dollar right here. Right. Just flooding around. This is the one dollar mark. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're holding it. And overnight, there's some great news about the company and it goes up to three dollars a share and you wake up to this news. Right. And there's a potential chance for you to make like say you invested a thousand dollars. You can make two thousand dollars on this pro trade in profit. All right, so they're ready to go. You see when you log into your account, you see a $2,000 unrealized profit. Okay, unrealized means that that's how much you're worth on paper, but that's not necessarily the cash you have in your account. Okay, so that's fine. You look at this, you're like, wow, it's $3,000 that I have, $2,000 in profit. Let me go in and sell this stock. So you put the sell order in, and you think you're going to cash out and walk away with that money. But while that's happening, the stock is slowly fluttering down and down. Okay, it might be a pump and dump. It might just be an oversubscribed stock in whatever scenario it's going down and down. And now you're getting worried because you're trying to sell this stock and yet, and you have almost $2,000 in profit or sh supposed profit, but it's not selling. And the stock is going down and down and down. And the reason that happens is because you probably were trading a stock with a low amount of volume. Okay, anything under 100,000 shares traded daily is low. So in my stock screeners and stock filter criteria, at in penny stock, we teach people to only trade stocks that have a volume of more than 100,000 daily. Okay, because you don't want to get trapped in that scenario. That happens all too often. 
where there's not enough liquidity in order for you to get in and out of your trades. And that's actually no, one of the number one reasons why Wall Street doesn't trade penny stocks is because it's too much money for them to even manage to sell, right? They can't even sell all of the, mon all of the stocks that they wanted to. But what, what would happen if, it, if an investment fund or a hedge fund, if they came into the penny stock market tomorrow, it would crash their own portfolio because this is what would happen. They would buy it at a dollar and they would put in $10 million behind it. And now the price sh shoots up to $3 because, or maybe even more, it might even shoot up to 20 or a hundred dollars. Who knows? You know, there's that much demand being bought will cause it to increase a crazy amount. And now this stock, yeah, it's worth 10, 20, 30 X of what they inflated it to. But now they have to sell all of that and nobody's going to buy it because they know it's already overinflated. So that is why penny stocks are so fantastic because you don't have to worry about Wall Street or hedge funds or anything like that because they can't even, they have so much money they can't even afford to go into this, if that makes sense. So that's why volume is important. Make sure that any stock you trade has at least 100,000 shares and that should be comfortably enough for you to be able to get in and out of positions without much difficulty. All right, because you don't want to be caught in that trap hypothetical that I just brought up where you have profits on paper, but you're not able to lock that in and cash out of your position. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope that makes sense. If you ever have any questions related to any stocks you're trading that you're looking at, your watch list, any investments, anything related in that field, you can always reach out to me and my team. You can get us on Twitter. If you add us there, add in Penny Stock. Use the hashtag in penny stock to make it easier for us to find you. And you can also find us by emailing us at admin, that's A-D-M-I-N, at inpennystock.com. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care.